Welcome to the Nuff Said Podcast. We are talking season, I don't know, what are we on, five or ten or something? Sure. What is this? Episode something. It's Watch Dogs, season three, episode 14. Watch Dogs, I am Rob Southgate. With me is... A little Kanitza. And? Jack Wingraski. <laughs> and <laughs> Rask my pants. <laughs> hey And, uh, all right, you know, we, we got limited time here, so let's jump into this thing. Uh, what'd you guys think of this one? Jack, I'll let you go. I liked it. I, you know, it had a lot of action. Uh, I liked the fact that, uh, that, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the hive is kind of back together again. Uh, no more bruising. I, I like the, uh, when, uh, Colson shut down Lincoln, when he started acting all like friendly and part of the team and Colson just like shuts him down and said, you haven't earned that right. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you what's going on. So, you know, they start to get into his personality a little bit and how he's going to integrate. It's like they were listening to our show. You know, they they kind of re- rebooted his character and and things and and then got almost into that civil war ideology where who is really the bad guys? Is it the agents or is it uh you know the the watchmen or Hydra who, yeah, who's yeah. worse or the inhumans. Yeah, well we we said that last week and although a little you said that wasn't happening, I think it is. Yeah, and I was proven wrong, which is fine. Mac has become the moral compass of the show and he has become that that banner for the civil for basically what could be part of the civil war. Um, because he he has really stepped it up that he is not going to do something that he is not comfortable with. He yeah. wants to do what's right, and you know, and, and even even what uh, I can't remember the other the bad agent. I can't remember what his name was, but when he said, "How do they get their intel?" You know, Colson was you know basically kind of you know there's a gray line. You know, there's always the gray line, and I like the fact that Mac is is taking a hard stance that there is no gray line. It's black and white. We're either good guys or we're bad guys. And we're gonna do what's right. I, I I really like that about this episode. Yeah, me too. I, I really like that it was a Mac episode because Mac is a great character, and the stuff that he showed tonight is the stuff that we've kind of seen, but we've gotten in. It's been too crowded, so we've gotten very little of this. But he has held true to his character the whole time, and I think what we saw tonight was the culmination of that. Yep. You know, at first I thought Mac's brother was gonna be turned out to like inducting in the Watchmen or already totally. part of the Watchmen. That's totally what I thought too, man. <clears throat> watch, watch dogs, Jack. Watch dogs. Watch dogs. Oh, that's right. Watchmen, Watchmen is another is, comic. Exactly, yeah. We don't, uh, don't want to give Zack Snyder any more love than he's already giving. <laughs> that is true. Wait, wait. He's getting love? <laughs> he's from getting... Some, from some people. Yeah. From, from, the, from Watchmen fans, maybe. T- two-thirds of the leagues, League of Geeks, I have a feeling. <laughs> that is true. Not me, though. Yeah, no. But, you know, like at, towards the end of the episode, the guy's unemployed. He's all of a sudden he's kind of loving S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, he's he's got that other perspective. And I'm kind of hoping that he becomes an agent. Oh, I think he is. I think that they were setting us up that he's going to be a cook for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. now. Right. But it's, you know, like, you know, like May's also the pilot. But, you know, and Jarvis is also a butler, but I think, you know, it's going to be one of those. Right. He's going to be a cook, Max the mechanic, Jarvis the butler. You're right. He's going to yeah. he's going to be a cook, though. They, they laid that in there. You've got a skill at this. You're really good at it. You're out of work. We don't want to lose the house. Now he knows about Mac. Clearly, they're going to bring him into the fold and make him a cook. Didn't you? I really like the fact that uh, the watchdogs. You know, towards the end, you know, you could see the Hydra influence because you know, uh, when they were raiding uh, Max and his, well, technically, I guess it's his brother's house. When they were raiding it, they were saying, you know, they were going after an inhuman. And Mac had been identified as an inhuman. And so we know this thing's going wrong already. That right. They're, they're out of control. This is not, they're not going to be like... This is not going to be a big group. They're well funded right now because of Malik. Because of Hyde Malik, but I don't think they're going to be like much of a a thing here. And there. You know, maybe maybe they're already too large, but you know, it was funny how they they got turned so quickly. 
I actually think that they will be a big deal for the show. I think what they did was they created like an enemy group that they can have here for a while. Yeah. So while while you know you've got civil war and they're fighting amongst themselves and you know there's all the the threat of Hydra and all this, they've got somebody at the ground level with them that they're going to be dealing with. Yeah, it's it's almost like the Trump supporters. You know, <laughs> they're the everyman. They're the ones that want to quote America. You know, make America great. You know, the inhuman now is is the great enemy. Right. Uh, <clears throat> and you can't see their faces. So what a perfect what a perfect enemy because it's you know yeah it could with, be anybody just like Hydra yeah they, they were they've actually they were in the comic books if you didn't know that um they were really? in the comics I didn't know the, the Watchdogs yeah they were in the late '80s in the comics um I think in Captain America comics I think that's where they got their start you know what I didn't um, read those back then I was all Spider Man and Daredeviled up then uh-huh. uh, well, me too but you know I, I I have many Marvel encyclopedias. Uh-huh. Uh, that I read, but I do have a bunch of cap books. I believe that they were in uh, one or two of them um, in the late eighties. All right, well, cool. So, you but, know, it, but that's a good one to bring in here. So you've got a, a an established group, but they're not one. They're not like Hydra. You know what I mean? It's not a name that you go, oh my gosh. Uh, so this is this is good. They've got something that they've they've already established they can work with. Yeah. Tied into Captain America, that's even even a bigger plus. Yeah, and how, they were also in the Marvel in the Ultimate Universe for a few books. I think they were like all destroyed at one point. Yeah, and I I really like their logo. I mean, how wrong would it be to have a Watchdog shirt? <laughs> knowing, even though it's like, you know, Hydra is like, yeah, the octopus is kind of cool and the many heads, yeah. But man, their logo is 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 that's just right. I, I wouldn't mind having a T-shirt and going, yeah, you know, I'm not really for them. I just I'm like not really the, for them, but you know, hey. I like the Nazi look. I I'm not for them. <laughs> you know, like ISIS wear. It's the new thing. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but you know, I mean, it's not <laughs> suddenly things are really even, uncomfortable, man. I don't even know how to respond to that. Like, <laughs> well, it's first, just wrong. At, you know, at it's, first I was gonna say, you know, then we'll see you on the news at a Trump rally, pepper spraying children. Um, <laughs> And then it went somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, you, you just <laughs> never know totally what, what corner you're going to turn. Oh, my <laughs> God. It went totally bad. <laughs> well, this we're dealing with Hydra. We're dealing with you know domestic terrorism. I mean, that's, you know, that's what it is. Really. I mean, it's the comics, but you know, that's really what it is. And, oh, the uh, the uh, anti-hero on this one, he's the guy that does uh, the Bosch series on Netflix. He's Harry Bosch. Yes. Melissa and I do the the podcast about, and uh, I I was really looking forward to a little more of him than the uh, no no you're the hologram gonna, you're going to get him now all right you're going to get him now well because he showed up in the the uh, wheelchair at the end but uh, we've talked about him because he was in that Marvel one shot the one that was on the Avengers disc yeah, right and then he made an appearance on Shield. And he was – remember he showed up uh, in the one just before uh, Captain America 2, and he was there with Sitwell. And then he got injured, and we were like, oh, no, they killed this character. We love this guy. But we found out what actually happened to this guy. Right. Actually, yeah, wasn't he, he there when – when it wasn't even that. Wasn't he there he, – I mean, he was there with Sitwell, but wasn't he there in the one with Edward James Olmos? Isn't that where it all went south for him? Jeez, oh, I don't remember. I thought I don't think it so was. Much, I, no. I thought he came later, but I thought the uh, he was there when the other shield was there. Like, like that was where he ended up getting injured. I no, know. I I think it was earlier because that was when uh, Hydra first you know took over Shield, and I I think that's when it happened. But don't quote me on that. No, Hydra took over Shield back in season one, and season two is where the other agency uh, blew up. I th- well, I thought he got hurt before that, but could be. You know, maybe I'm. Yeah. What's his name? It's Titus Welliger. Is that his name? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. 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 I really like him, and I I really like uh, when they when he showed up, and the fact that they're going to have him. See, this is what's interesting. This is just like Civil War. His tactics may be bad guy tactics, but is he a bad guy? Well, you know, at first they said, oh, you know, he's here to protect people. But they went way too fast to the other side when he's tagging normal people as inhumans. 
you know, it's like right. You but, know, he, but but they also give us that dichotomy because look at what Daisy was doing, where you're like, right. hey, he's he tagged, big. he tagged Mac because the one guy thought he saw Mac doing what Daisy did, right. And and Daisy was using her powers in a way that would make people scared of them and would make them want to attack. Yeah, right. and, and he's an extremist, and I think that um, what's his face now, uh, Matt, uh, Malik is is feeding him this stuff. Like he is not oh, yeah, a sure. bad guy, but he is not a good guy. He is you know, right. Right. I he's think doing he, what he thinks is, is right because now he's stuck in a wheelchair and because of these types of people. Right. Right. But in essence, really, it's not because of the Inhumans. It's really because of Malik. Right. Well, right. But they don't Which, know this. That's, that's the ultimate irony. So, yeah, he's a good guy in the middle of – under control of a bad group. Right, right. It's just like – I mean, here, talk about the biggest sucker in the world – he was completely taken in by Hydra, and he even said that here, like, hey, I didn't even know. I, I was working for Hydra. I didn't even know it. I'm supposed to be working for S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm, I'm the good guy. Who's he working for again? Hydra. He's <laughs> like, he's the biggest sucker, man. He doesn't get it. And But, you know, that's the that's the way they work. They they recruit. They They make you think that you're doing something patriotic at the same time, you know, you're just doing domestic terrorism. Yeah. And how about the uh, when Fitz got hit with the uh, oh, the, the hydramine? Oh yeah. yeah, or whatever that was, something I mean. And it was suspended, so they couldn't neutralize it. Yeah. Did you guys think they were actually going to do him in? No, no, no. I, no. I, I didn't think chance. so either. But there was, I definitely had that. Like you know, they they played around with this guy enough. They could actually like injure him. You know what I mean? Well, I hope not. Yeah, I, I, mean, I think they've, you know, they gave him brain damage. <laughs> they've like which, destroyed his life you know, a couple of times. You but, know what? Is he still feeling the effects of it, but like better and better? Because there was a few times he like stumbled on words. I totally think that's that's true. I think that's the actor's choice. I think he's doing that because I've noticed that all season there have been just brief things, brief moments where I've thought he's still working with that. Well, they've never cured it or addressed it. It just kind of went away, and they're just adding this little tiny element of a stumble and goes, oh, yeah, he's still a little jacked up. Uh, you know, Are they going to just leave it there, or is there going to be some magic episode where he goes in the machine and they finally rework the connections? I think it could be. I think when they kind of run out of things to do, I think they're going to work on his brain. I think so he's, a, I think he's functional enough at this point that I don't I don't know if they're going to go back to that well. Yeah, but I I just I hope they don't do the like the stumble kind of thing forever. Every once in a while he stumbles on his word and go, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, mean, I like the I like the subtlety for now, but I don't know if I'll like it forever. All right, that's you know, I I, I can definitely live with it. I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm just a fan. I'm out here in the wings, but I'm kind of hoping at some point. You know, everybody's got alien tech and and special stuff going on. Just just go in there and fix the brain. You know, you know they can do it. So, what did you guys think of Lincoln this time? Well, I I said at the beginning, I kind of liked it. I think they're rebooting now that they've taken care of Hunter and and uh, and what's her name? They're Mockingbird they had, Bobby. Bobby, they can they can kind of focus on him. It's like he's starting from scratch. He just finished the evaluation. They wouldn't tell him what the evaluation was, so they had that kind of tension. He's hanging out with with Colson. He thinks it's all buddy buddy, but it's still a test. And you know, I think they're going to integrate him, but they they kind of had to go all the way back to the beginning with with training and blah blah blah. So I think this is just the start of his character. Now, do you think we're we're getting set up for a love triangle with uh, with him and Daisy and now Max's brother? I don't think so. I mean, Max's brother? Didn't you no. notice the little? Sp oh, come on, man! You didn't yeah, notice that at the end. Yeah, well, you I didn't, jerk. I didn't know there was no. There was no. I think he was more impressed that his brother was. The way he was than anything else. It wasn't that he was looking at Daisy and like, oh man, Daisy. Yeah, but give no. it time. 
Give it time. No. They're going to totally do that. Mark my words. Yeah. It's totally going to happen, man. Hey, we haven't had that in a while. Mark your words. And you know how right I am. That's right. We've already established at the beginning that Alil is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> He's been already proven wrong. So Rob is right. Yeah, he loved Batman. And, and the critics say, no, Alil, you're just wrong about that one. I didn't love Batman. <laughs> don't you love to antagonize Alil? <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know. Let's, I let's get it, back to the show. I thought it was a good – I thought they did a good job with Lincoln. Uh, you know, did they have to take it all the way to the beginning? Maybe so, just to get him into that system. Because he's really – this is the first time where he's really kind of been paid attention to, taken into the fold. I didn't think – you know, the, they made a case that he was out of control against Lash. And it's like, I don't know if you – that's like a valid argument. Yeah. La- Did you ever think he was ever out of control? He just kind of, he's kind of been nothing this whole time. Well, like, you know, they had to like yell at him a couple times, but he stopped. You know, if Flash was, like if a he dog. Had fried. No, no, Lincoln, down. No. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's not going to take orders like that anyway. You know, maybe if he was a an agent, but eventually he calmed down. If he had fried Lash to a crisp and, you know, done like Lash bacon, then yeah, okay. Maybe he's not trainable. But I think he's proved himself three, four, or five times at this point. So, Alil, you didn't say what you thought about Lincoln Lincoln's evolution here. I, I'm I'm still waiting to see. I don't think he, there was an evolution yet. I think he knew he had to prove something to Colson to stick around, so that's why he followed the orders. I don't think he's he's still where he needs to be as a character. Yeah, is it the writers or is it him as an actor? Because might be him as an actor. I, he's kind of stiff. Yeah. yeah, I think he is. I, I don't think there's a defined role for him. And once they get it, then we'll see if his talent as an actor can bring it because there's no there's no define. He was Daisy's boyfriend for a bit. Now he seems like he's kind of not. And then he is again. He's on the team. He's not on the team. Now he's being trained to be on the team. Yeah. And we just got rid of two and we're bringing another one in. Yeah. Are we, yeah, we though? Because yeah, I don't we see are, him. Totally. I don't see him on the IMDb list uh, having more than one episode. The brother? Yeah. By next season, he'll be on. Yeah, oh, I'm sure mark, of it. That mark ain't my words. this season, huh? I said that ain't this season. Oh, take that, Agents of Shield. Bam. Could you yeah. look it up? He's only in the one episode. Yeah, I'm on IMDb right now, pulling it up. Well, they're always think. accurate, you know. What about future IMDb? Did you check that? I did. I checked next year's IMDb, and it says one episode. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he cooks all the food. I did. I, I pulled a flash, and I went into the future. Oh, there you go. see, I knew you loved DC. Or I, did you go to Future Past? Or oh. Days of Future Past? Oh my God, X Men! Oh my God, X Men! <laughs> I didn't say Days of Future Past because that's like a whole other franchise. Daisy like, of Future Daisy Past. Daisy of Future Past. Yes. Yes. His name was Ruben. How far off the grid do you think Daisy's going to go? Because I think this is just the beginning. Well, I think Lucy Lawless is coming back. No, get out. <laughs> Watch it happen. <laughs> now you've done it. No, you know that's not going to happen now because she's, she's got her thing. She's got. She's. Oh, she's on Xena. They're doing Xena again. Who cares? You can do more than one show. Yeah, they're not going to have her back for that. I don't know. I, you got I, this crazy idea. I've told you that they're, she's not coming back. I just brought it up, you know. Watch. I'm looking it up right now. Did you look it up to make sure? Yeah, How great would it be if it was like next episode she's back? She's not back. <laughs> that would be fantastic. How do you, well, how on, do you like she is when on, the, uh, Ash versus the Evil Dead. Wait, what? She's on Ash versus the Evil Dead. I know. I watched that. Oh. <laughs> Get all tough with me? <laughs> it's a little defensive, I think. A little, a little bit of a nerd fight going on here. <laughs> I've watched it. <laughs> I've watched it twice as many times as you have, loser. Yeah. <laughs> Take it that. So there. Have you even watched Daredevil yet? Jeez. You know what? I'm a consultant for Daredevil. So there. Oh, yes. have you guys been watching it? No, yes. I haven't. Oh, my gosh, Jack. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> I have a hard enough time keeping up with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Come on. You know what? I've got don't I have go, enough t- hard time keeping my pants up. I mean, don't go see Batman Superman. Just watch like three hours of Daredevil instead, and you will be much happier. 
And I have to see all of Bosch season two is already out. I haven't even watched that yet. Oh, great. I know. So uh, by the time season three comes out, we'll have a podcast for it, right? Well, my qualification exams are done. Excellent. And I, my my DMA recital is Saturday. So after that, I will. It's underwear and TV time for Jack. Yeah, sure. Whoever said anything about underwear. <laughs> I'm not uh, saying that I won't be wearing it. I'm just saying I never said anything about underwear. Oh, I'm so sorry I said that. I know. Are you deleting visual file or are you just gouging your eyes out as we speak? Gouging. <laughs> Titus you know, you Welliver. Make... That's his name. Titus Welliver. I was close. Welliver. Yeah, there I we was go. in the ballpark. Now, is he on the rest of the season? A Lil? I am DB Boy. Did you look him up? I did not look him up. According to IMDb, it was only this episode this season, which tells me this is not updated. <laughs> because well, there's no way. And you know what? They only show the next, like, two episodes on here. So anything could happen. I'm telling you, that guy's going to end up the cook, and they're going to totally do a uh, – uh, what, what's the one with uh, – under siege. They're totally going to do an under siege moment. But I'm the cook. Oh. What do you think they're doing with Simmons and the whole pistol thing? Like, is she going to become somebody? Well, like, I think they're just making it so that she can be a useful agent. They did the same thing with Fitz. Fitz was worthless. So they try and put him out in the field, and he was worthless. And, <laughs> and by, you know, all he could do is eat the sandwich and get beat up by Ward. But now he actually goes out, and you buy the fact that you know, yeah, he's not agent number one. He's not the first guy through the door. But you buy the fact that he might be able to pull a gun and handle himself. They're going to do the same thing this sentence. Right. And, and let me get back to Daisy because she's the one that put him in da uh, Fitz in danger. If she had pulled back like she was supposed to, he wouldn't have got shot with the nitramine and or whatever it is. And and she used her powers yeah. Yeah, in, the, in, in the wrong way. She was reckless, well, and I think that, that the, the – I, I think she's going to continue to go that route until it gets really bad and they like yes. they have to do like an intervention or something. Well, no, 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 no. I don't think she's going to because that conversation she had at the end, which you guys thought was some kind of heat, was more like she should have been there. She should have done what was right, unlike what she did. I think she already learned her lesson by Matt getting shot and by Fitz uh, – having that explosive on him. I think she understood that she made the wrong choice. I don't know if it's that simple. I mean, they kind of made it seem that way, but I yeah. don't think they're done with that. I, mean, I don't think they're done much, with it either. I think it's that too we're much drama and tension. I think this is going to play out until after Civil War and maybe even past that. I think they're going to be dealing with this. The heat's going to be going up. Daisy, yes, she may like pull back a little bit, but she she is of the mindset right now that I'm with Shield and I do what I have to do to make things happen, and she just happens to have this power where she can you know cause an earthquake. Well, not only that, I mean, really, how bad was she using her powers? Because she broke two windows. She, she broke windows. Do you know how expensive it is to replace those windows? Good I know, gravy, Jack. But it's not even covered on insurance, so it's not like he's going to have to call. It's, it's a little out of pocket, whatever. A little out of but pocket. She, you know, like using her powers, she could have exploded one of his kidneys. Right. You know, and that to wow, me that, would that be would have like, been escalating quickly. Yeah, like yeah, if she'd have taken her finger and started vibrating one of his organs until like you know his eyes turned red and he's like really ready to die in true torture. <laughs> Because otherwise, Matt could have grabbed him by the neck and and until he started choking, and nobody would have batted an eye. Hmm. I don't know. I'm that, still thinking that about story these... could have gone in a completely wrong direction. You know, I, I'm still <laughs> thinking about that. How it much did in well? my head? <laughs> you know, I I'm I'm just gonna say you're you're reading the wrong material. <laughs> if you go from point A to point B, <laughs> oh, oh, I did. <laughs> I'm already at point D. <laughs> Maybe it's the road too much traveled. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Did Over you like years. how we skirted that completely? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Therefore, maintaining some sort of rating. That's right. Read between the lines, people. Yeah. Wow, oh, man. All right. Wow. So, so what's left? Um. Well, we, we got a cool scene with Mac taping the... Um, the what was the butcher's um, 
butcher knife. On, oh, like, yeah, like the, an axe, uh, axe yeah. gun or okay. shotgun axe. That, shotgun axe. That might have been the highlight of the episode when he said shotgun axe. Yeah, <laughs> that was <laughs> that was amazing. And once again, he's that character. We talked about it before. He is whatever well, that character is, that axe character. Because yeah. when is he most comfortable? <laughs> he's got an axe in his hand. I mean, it wasn't even that useful. I mean, you know, he he shot a couple of guys. He slashed them. But, man, that was fun. I I, <laughs> I, I, think, I wonder if they'll ever actually call him by name or these, thing, these little things of that character will just keep popping up because right. I think it's awesome. That, that was the best, though. Shotgun axe. That, Shotgun axe. That was the best. <laughs> <laughs> I think Man, that's the t-shirt you want That's going to be the next Hasbro toy And I'm going to buy it Shotgun Axe Shotgun Axe Wow The Hasbro Shotgun Axe Takes two AA batteries that, Some assembly required That earthquake finger But that that's another toy <laughs> <laughs> You lost the Lil uh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's at point D again <laughs> he Needs a little time <laughs> oh man! All right. Um. So uh, okay. So the the episode's over. Good. A good episode. Nice episode. Yes. And then we get the teaser for next week, and we get Neo. Where appearing. where Ward is the one? Ward <laughs> is Neo. What was that, man? <laughs> Comes in that trench coat, and I'm like, you could have just pasted Keanu Reeves' face right there, or if he came in with glasses. Oh my god! Yeah. He should have said most excellent. There you go. Most excellent. He walks in, party on, dudes. And it's over. <laughs> and done. And scene. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think What do you think that missile is? Oh, it's is a it nuke. Just a, just a missile. Just a, eh. It's going yeah, it to be the start of Civil War right there. That's the scene in Civil War where we see uh, T'Challa blown up at that building. Yeah. Oh, right. That'll be the nuke to start it. Yep. Wow, so so Civil War starts here. Maybe. They, they kind of I mean, they they let uh, Age of Ultron start here. I mean, well, Coulson called in the Avengers because he found uh, Loki's uh, scepter. Right. Right. In fact, they didn't they end with that? Something about the scepter? and Yeah, and he said, call in the Avengers, and then that was it. And then you run out to go see Age of Ultron, and it starts right there. Actually, it's... Didn't we... We, we saw Sitwell say, oh, I, I have to go catch a boat. And the next thing we see is him hydrating up on a boat. <laughs> Sitwell? Yeah. He got, crushed by, he got crushed by a car in uh, Winter Soldier. You know what? Right. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you're saying uh, Ultron. I'm saying Winter Soldier. Because it was just before Winter Soldier where Sitwell said, I got to go catch a boat. Right. I got to go catch a boat. And then he was on the, on the boat in yeah, Winter first Soldier. Scene. Two yeah. years ago. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Weren't we arguing against the uh, that I don't, it was going to start here? I don't even know what we're arguing against at this point. Wait, are you kidding me? It just sounds like all of a sudden it's like, okay, yeah, Civil War is starting here. And at some point we were going, eh, maybe not. It, You know why? Because it kind of felt disconnected. And now they seem to be trying to connect it really quickly. Right. They've yes. got, what, four weeks? Well, actually, if we have four weeks of lead up, I think they could actually do a really great job of it. True. You know, it won't feel like one episode and boom, we're there. We, we could actually see some seeds planted that for the person seeing the movie, it doesn't matter. For the people that watch S.H.I.E.L.D., it would be like, sweet, I totally get what's going on here. Right. It's well, like the boat scene. If you didn't see Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it wouldn't mean anything to you, but you wouldn't have lost anything either. Right. All right. Mm. All right. All right. Is that it? Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we need our we need our uh, we need our taglines. What taglines? Our, our uh, social we're media. At, yeah, we're at, yeah. We didn't uh, do that last time. Let's do it. All right. I'm at our Southgate uh, on Twitter. The uh, show is at Enough Said Podcast. Jack, where do they find you? At Jay Wengroski, and check out the blacklist and watch. For season two of the Bosch podcast. Nice. And uh, a little, go ahead. I'm at L O G E E K Z for the League of Geeks podcast. And that's Geeks with a Z. Very nice. And uh, one more quick thing before we go uh, we talked about it last time. I'm going to talk about it again. On the webpage, which is now finally updated, in the upper right hand corner is an Amazon ad. 
if you click on that before you purchase at Amazon, what it does is it puts a cookie on there for 24 hours on your computer so that anything you purchase from Amazon in that 24 hour period, we get a tiny little sliver up. It doesn't cost you anything, but it is a great way to support the show. You already shop on Amazon, so if you're going to do it, please go to our website, click on that link every time you're going to shop there, and like I said, it, it really does help support us. That's it. Uh, our website, I should give that to, is southgatemediagroup.com backslash Nuff Said Podcast. Now that's it. Thanks again for listening, everybody. Nuff Said. Nuff Said. With a Z. Z.